Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care, Mr. Param. Welcome. See, uh, one more motherboard here it is. So, what are the issue? You don't know, right? So, you are not there. So, I only handled this. So, anyway, the customer complaint is it's a power on, no display. Okay. Uh, as per my instructions, you opened the laptop panels and you kept the motherboard for my instructions, right? So, you are waiting for my instructions. So, anyway, today I am going to uh, show you this one what kind of problem it has. Okay. So, first any motherboard comes, no? First, we need to uh, check the problem, what kind of problem it is. So, here it is a power and no display, right? So, in this condition, some basic points we need to check. That I'll tell you. Okay, one by one I'll tell you. See, first, in any condition, DC jack we have to check. First one. Yes. This is a very worst case because sometimes plus and minus will be short. Okay, but in this case, there is no short. You know why? It's no display case. Yeah. Right. right. So, any time, see, by uh, seeing the, what is that, uh, uh, problem of the motherboard, we can identify what kind of uh, problem it is. I mean, in, in which condition it is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. No display in the sense, lights are glowing. Lights are glowing. Okay turning on also turning on right so in this condition almost 3 5 volts is available three, five volts. yes blindly we can tell 3 5 volts are available because here it's a no display case it means it's a powering on in power button one light will glow even charging point or light will glow. If those lights will come, so definitely your 3 5 sections are okay. Okay. And second thing is you need to check impedance first. Hmm. Okay. This one you can check, but the thing is here it's good because of lights are glowing 3.5 volts available. So that's why you need not to check this one. So second point impedance, impedance uh, which I told you before. So anyway. Uh, see, after checking the impedance, we come to know which coil, impedance of coils, okay, of main coils. After that, if very low impedance, then we need to check, check the particular coil section okay? okay first you need to identify what are the coils are there here i mean how many coils are there one, two, three, four. yes one two, two three four any other coils the that side ah, five six see here blindly we can tell you these two are three and five volt sections okay three, three and five three, three point three and five volts yeah. section here it's near to the ram section so that's the reason i'm telling you it's a ram okay general ideas i'm giving to you this is pch pch nearby this one means it's a processor nearby this so that's why this may be cpu vcc core okay this may be 1.8 or 1 volts uh, that coil i think so so anyway uh, please check the impedance first you are checking ram section right it's a good impedance there is no beep okay Next. Hmm. Okay. So it's maybe one volt I think so. Ah, all right. This is uh, CPU part. See, one thing I'll tell you. CPU section and uh, PC section coil will be there. No, always gives beep because it has low impedance. But here, show me how. Uh, what is the impedance of this coil? Low impedance. Uh, low in the sense how much? See completely 0, 0 or 0 0.1 or 0 0.23 so 
we have to think about this so it's 0 0 is showing sometimes and 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 okay so i have some little doubt on this pchr uh, what is that suck section hmm? okay Next one. Hmm. this is a better section because it's nearby the battery ah yes okay this one is good this one is good except this one this one also may be good but the thing is we have little doubt Hmm? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Uh, show me also. Yes, two point minimum two point four K it will come. Nice one, huh? hmm. Okay, that also good. Okay, more than two point four. Hmm? Okay, now you do one thing. This is a sock, okay. So put the heat sink section and then you directly connect to the DC part, DC machine. You know why I am telling? Here it's powering on section. So that's the reason I am telling you switch it on, okay. Now you connect at the heat sink, right? So now directly connect to the DC machine. Hmm. Now it's a point double zero nine. Okay, this is common in any laptop motherboard. If this particular uh, motherboard will be good, so then it shows zero point double zero nine or ten, eleven, twelve. Depends on motherboard, it will vary. Okay. Hmm. Now uh, you can power it on. Ah, see, now the DC amp reading is 2.245 amps, so it's a 245 milliamps. Okay, here it's little bit 50% amp is good. 50% 50 50 means all coil voltage uh, we are we are getting all coil voltages are we are getting. So only the thing is CPU section is not good as per the DC machine uh, rec uh, records okay here point two four in the sense we are getting RAM also mm -hmm. see if it cross point hundred then it's hundred percent sure we are getting RAM voltage please check the RAM voltage it's available or not check all coil voltage now okay for that black probe goes to negative and red goes to the particular coil hmm. this is the RAM section what is that? 1.35 right yes good I, uh, I told you no it's more than 0 0.100 amps it it surely you will get the RAM voltage okay now RAM coil is good second because of DDR3L you are getting 1.35 volts okay next one hmm. Yes, one volts. So yeah, one volts calls also it's good. Okay, next. Next one is battery section. Hmm. Battery section it will be very. It's uh, two point nine to one volts also. Even point five also it will vary. So there is no issue. So now we are getting up to here one volts. We are getting th one point three five and uh, three five also we are getting. It's behind to this one. This motherboard. That also you can check slowly. Just a minute. I'll I only show you. Uh, ah, very carefully we have to turn it because it's a uh, uh, supply is given right so that's why you check this two coil voltage
Yes, it's a 3.3 volts coil. Okay, next. This one is 5.5 volt. Now you come to know what are the coils uh, generating the voltage. Just a minute, slowly. Leave it. Tell me which one. Ah, that coil voltage. Okay, okay. That you won't get actually. Anyway, let us see. Don't touch. Ah, yeah, see. Impedance level is good now. In voltage, when we give the supply, so impedance is good. But the thing is, it's not producing the voltage. voltage. There will be many reasons. One is main thing is bias. Okay, if bias is not good, you will get no display case. Here almost all good. You are generating uh, what is that uh, RAM voltage also. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason I'm telling you bias almost good. But we need to check the tracks and all. Then we come to the uh, bias section. Okay, see. Ah, uh, you can remove this. Disconnect. Now, uh, you remove this one also. See, now oh, some components are missing here. See, by seeing only we can identify some components are missing. Right. See here. Here some P-salter points are there. Okay. Here it may be capacitor, I think so. Mm -hmm. Because of that short of coil, so they they would have removed these components. Okay. So now what does the component mean? PLZ zero two. You only tell. PLZ zero two. Are you sure? Yeah. Or PCs one more is there? This one or this one? This one, sir. PL. How? L means. Uh, Coil. Yes, L indicates is the coil. Yeah. Okay, so that's the reason. Hundred percent surely you can tell it's a PL in the sense this coil number. So previously I showed you that schematic, right? So it's already opened. So let us check what is that coil. So first you need to check PLZ zero two, right? Yes. So just to check. This is PLZ zero two plus VCC core plus VCC core. This is VCC core coil voltage coil. Okay, core coil. So here, see some components are missing, right? So that may be this one or some resistor also that we don't know. But anyway, step by step we can check this one. So here, this coil is connected to. This diode, yes, it's uh, not diode. It's a MOSFET. Okay, this is dual channel MOSFET. You know why? It's a dual channel. In all motherboard, I already explained you how many uh, MOSFETs will be there. One, sir. Tell me, how many MOSFETs will be there in two this section? Two, 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 right? Yeah. One is high. Main, main, uh, uh, main MOSFET. Low MOSFET. Other one is low MOSFET, yeah. right? Correct, right? Yes. So, see here instead of two MOSFETs, yeah. they used only one. You know that high MOSFET drain goes to directly the power supply, right? Power supply in the sense it's a B plus voltage, yes. and that source is connected to drain of the second the lower MOSFET, right? Uh, drain, yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Lower MOSFET drain is connected to the source of first MOSFET. First MOSFET. Here it's connected, right? See, source of first MOSFET yes, is connected to the drain yes, of the second MOSFET. Second MOSFET. Yeah. Right. So here, gate one directly goes to IC. Yeah. Okay, UG VCC here IC will be there. And second thing is, it's a pin number two, three, four. See, D one, D one, D one, D one. 
10 all are connected to the power supply it's a main power supply okay so here source the lower MOSFET source goes to the ground. gate ground sorry ground, ground, ground. Hmm, okay see lower MOSFET S2 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 means source lower MOSFET source connected to the ground, ground. are you sure sir. yes see pin number 8 is the gate so that is connected to the IC yes, so here we come to know two MOSFETs are connected in one right this is high D1 one indicates it's a first MOSFET it means high MOSFET and two indicates it's a second MOSFET it's a lower MOSFET okay first we need to check uh, we come from reverse thing okay from reversely we'll come to know what are the components are there and what are the voltage we are getting okay first we'll check this is the coil this is the end point because we come to know this it has a very low impedance right so from here we will begin it is connect some components are missing here right yeah. so that's why uh, this coil where it has connected so that we need to check it has connected to the drain 2 and source 1 of this dual MOSFET yeah. first we will consider uh, yeah. first we come to know this is connected or not yeah, then we will move further ok yeah first see this is coil and next you need to search that uh, PQZ01 this is a dual MOSFET check it's a PQZ01 Hmm. No MOSFET, sir. Here. Oh, no MOSFET. No. Ah, yes, zero. some components are removed here. See? Here, this is the component, right? PUZ01. PUZ00 is there. 01 or what? PQZ01. Yes. PQZ01. This is the component, right? So just uh, give me that pen. pen here 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 see this is dual MOSFET it is missing okay, okay. this may be capacitors mm -hmm. by seeing only by seeing the size we can identify this is the capacitor okay uh, see this is the coil size will be there now coil size in the sense it's a capacitors I think so so here two coils are there this is called CPU IC. CPU IC. Yes, CPU IC we will call. Okay. Some sense and all will come to the processor mm. from this IC. Okay. So this one I will teach you in uh, further classes. Mm. So just you can understand slow by I mean step by step. Slowly you can understand those things. Mm. Okay. So this is dual MOSFET. Here dual MOSFET got missed. Means here it's not there. Mm. For that we do one thing first we need to check that particular MOSFET is available or not in case if it is ava not available then we can manually create the dual MOSFET oh, so you know how uh, this term I add. see in this schematic you know that high MOSFET and low MOSFET right yeah. hmm? D1 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 all are drain of the high MOSFET gate 1 is the high MOSFET gate S1 is the high MOSFET of gate sorry S1 source sorry source right in this case we consider it as a high MOSFET we will take on a high MOSFET and we will connect according to this graph using this we can uh, do this dual MOSFET manually we can only prepare the dual MOSFET mm -hmm. both function will be same okay. okay here they congested and they given in one IC mm -hmm. so that we can make it as a two but only one thing is here 
space is very less in that case we need to connect that uh, connectors safely that i will teach you one by one okay so now we uh, come back again actually first we need to find out the high and low mosfet mm -hmm. uh, you don't think that one motherboard is there you give me that uh, see I, this one is scrap board mm -hmm. okay in this scrap board some components are good some ices will be good mm -hmm. so you take out this one see here uh, here it's a sock this is sock mm -hmm. okay here nearby coil is this one okay this may be uh, sock coil or whatever it, whatever it may be see here also some components but here it's a missing mm -hmm. so anyway uh, here also it's a missing so here we'll check here one high and low mosfets are there see yes, sir. Uh, how you know how to find out it's a high low mosfet yes, yes, sir. I don't know, sir. you don't know no? yeah. so you know lower mosfet source is connected to the ground source connected to ground yes, sir. okay and this source is connected to the drain of the second MOSFET. Uh -huh, yes. So then you come to know if source is connected to the ground that is lower MOSFET or second MOSFET. Remaining one is higher MOSFET. Uh -huh. Okay. First you check the continuity where is that 1, 2, 3. If it is connected to the ground then that is the lower MOSFET. Okay. Understood now my point? Yes. Okay. Which one is pin one, two, three source? Yes. Show me that. So it's giving beep, right? It's a source of this particular MOSFET. It low means it's a low MOSFET. Low MOSFET source. Hmm? And then nearby this one is high MOSFET. Yeah. Just you check that source, it's giving beep or not? Drain to source, yes. No, only source you check. If source is connected to the ground then that is not a uh, MOSFET that is high MOSFET okay second MOSFET source should be connected to the ground right hmm? yes. now we come to know this one is so I mean this one is lower MOSFET and this one is higher MOSFET yeah. first we remove the both uh, MOSFETs okay. then we come to know okay uh, uh, we'll uh, proceed again Okay, uh, you remove this one. Okay. Okay, now so I will show you how to do the dual MOSFET <coughs> connections. Here, this is dual MOSFET, dual MOSFET, hmm? and here high MOSFET and low MOSFET. First, we'll make the diagram, then it's very easy to give the connections okay? okay so in dual MOSFET so G1 G1 D1 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 and D1 here D2 S2 okay here G2 S2 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 This is the pin connections, okay? Here it has gone to 19 volts. This is our drain. And here, sorry, this is not connected. It's a gate. Gate connected to the IC. Okay? It's a higher gate. This one is lower gate, D2. This is a lower gate. Here, higher gate. This is lower MOSFET. This one uh, actually this is total dual MOSFET in this black diagram as per the schematic see as per the schematic I have wrote down mm. I have written here see 
as per this uh, we will create see in high mosfet what it will be there here on notch will be there okay in notch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is a high mosfet upper mosfet here 1 2 3 are source 1 right this one is gate 1 hmm? here 5 6 7 8 drain 1 we can consider it as a drain 1 here lower mosfet okay lower mosfet 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 are source okay 2 3 mm. are source 2 right here it's a gate 2 hmm here in this 5 6 7 8 what it's a gate right it's a drain to okay as per the diagram it's a gate to has gone to where sir gate gate 2 gate 2 has gone to ic yes, lower gate ic here upper gate ic so here gate we will leave it okay. so this one goes to ic upper upper gate and here it's a lower gate these two gate we we'll leave it we will take this one drain one drain one connected to where source two drain one is connected to 19 volts here one cable we will draw and we will connect 19 volts here forgot <laughs> okay this goes to 19 volts see d1 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 right here it goes to 19 volts high mosfet 5 6 7 8 is the drain okay. so these four pin connected to the 19 volts here we we'll leave one pin okay i mean sorry cable here pin number 1 2 3 source 1 where is that source 1 here actually source 1 this one okay d2 source 1 is connected to the d2 lower of this one drain right here this one source 1 and d2 here it's over this also over this also over this also over now remaining is source 2 is connected to the ground right so gate over gate over this one over this one over we can easily make it right so means connection little bit tough maybe tough it's a beginning times so that's why it's a tough but later on we can easily connect this one see here we removed two mosfets one is high and one is low okay i'll show you which one is high and which one is low and where is one more see here and you know very well that point pin will be there that start from one pin number one okay so first i will check this one pin is here pin start from here okay mm -hmm. so if i make it ulta नॉच Here, pin number one, pin number one, two, three, and this one is last one is four. Okay, see here pin number one, two, three, 
last one is 4 1 2 3 last one is 4 here 1 2 3 last one is 4 now uh, task light you can do this one is drain this one is drain okay see this drain goes to power supply 19 volts and here pin number gate we have to leave it sorry pin number 1 2 3 1 2 3 here is the notch now 1 2 3 1 2 3 going to the drain so this drain see pin number 1 2 3 going to the drain ok next this is second MOSFET here this one goes to power supply here pin number 1 2 3 goes to drain and last gate one will be goes to particular IC and here this one is drain drain we connect it to the source next remaining thing is 1 2 3 1 2 3 it's a ultra we make so 1 2 3 here hmm? 1 2 3 this one ground and last gate goes to I see lower gate yes hmm? okay gate. it's very simple okay see uh, once again I will explain you here will be notch 1 2 3 directly connected to the drain of the second MOSFET mm -hmm. sorry uh, uh, 1 2 3 is connect yes correct only uh, 1 2 3 source output is connected to the input drain. of the drain no of MOSFET. second MOSFET okay. right so here 1 2 3 is connected to the ground is the ultra right 1 2 3 is here mm. so 1 2 3 is connected to ground right. and gate connects to uh, IC. IC okay mm. like this we have to combine so now let's try <laughs> 